Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert, and welcome to a video that will make a whole bunch of people go, yeah, I've been doing that for years, yeah, uh, or hopefully go, huh, oh, never seen that before, what a great idea, let's do that. Uh, basically, if you haven't seen Cody before, Cody is awesome. Don't switch off if you're thinking, I don't want Cody. Uh, this is a reason to use Cody legally, uh, and perhaps only for this one reason. I'm going to show you today how you can stream pretty much any video from your Android phone to Kodi. And because Kodi can be installed on uh, Android and Windows and Linux uh, and Apple Macs, basically here's a tutorial that will allow you to stream from your Android-based mobile phone to any of those things. And it's so easy, it's ridiculous. So imagine the primary use for most of you is going to be YouTube, obviously because that Paul Hibbert fella is on there and, well, he's pretty good. Uh, so I'm going to pick basically any video from YouTube and press the little three dots here and click share. And then I'm going to scroll down until I can find play on Media Center, which is that button there. And you'll find it'll immediately start playing on Kodi, which is amazing. Like no effort at all to make this work either. Uh, and basically, that'll play in a full 1080p or 4K or whatever the video is at on YouTube. So we'll stop that one there. Uh, so that's YouTube usage, so that's your first and most obvious one. Uh, the next thing you might use it for is to play stuff from your gallery, so home movies and the like. Uh, me and Nisha have just got back from Paris and I filmed us in the snow walking through the streets towards the Pantheon, uh, which was just insane. Uh, and if I click on share there, I can do exactly the same thing, play on Media Center, and you'll find that whatever Cody's doing, it will stop doing it and start playing whatever is uh, on your phone, whatever you've selected. Uh, and this is perfect 4K quality again. The only reason it might not look 4K on your screen is because I'm capturing this via A to Z video screen recorder. Uh, so that's gallery. The final use case I could think of would be if you had legally, of course, acquired uh, some videos from the internet. Uh, legally. You could put those on your phone and stream them in, in exactly the same way. So I'm using My Files, which is just a Samsung uh, app. Uh, and I can pick any video from My Files. And there you go, it plays straight away. So I've actually set the default option for this to be Kodi. So all I have to do is press the video button and it will start playing immediately. Uh, this is, of course, a video in my back garden in the summertime. It is not something that I've stolen from the internet. Uh, but you might steal stuff from the internet. Uh, by the way, that there is not pornography. That is some woman being hit in the face with sausages, because that's my sense of humour. Anyway, how did I do this? Let's find out. So the beauty of Kodi is you can install it on anything you like. You could have it on a Fire Stick, or an Android box, or a Windows PC, or pretty much anything. Uh, and this tutorial will still be relevant for all of those devices. Uh, if you're not familiar with Kodi, basically it's just media center software for uh, playing movies and TV shows, which you have of course acquired legally. Uh, if you're using it for any other purpose, that's between you and the internet and the police, and nothing to do with me. Uh, basically, all you need to do, even if you've got a completely empty library, if you're coming to Kodi for the first time, all these instructions are the same. If you want to simply achieve what I did in the video a moment ago, you just go to settings here at the top, you go to service settings, in general, just make sure you've got uh, this box here ticked. Under control, tick allow remote control via HTTP. Uh, pick yourself a port number. If you don't know what that means, just use the same one that I have. Uh, just steer clear of any port numbers that tend to be used for other services. Uh, pick yourself a username and a password. Leave that as it is. Make sure these two boxes are ticked and you're done. Uh, there's no save button. You simply go back and back again and Kodi is now remotely controllable using those details. Make a note of those details, you're going to need them now. So next we're going to set up Yahtzee, and Yahtzee is basically just remote control software for controlling Kodi using your mobile phone, uh, which in and of itself is awesome. It looks like this, uh, but in addition to being a remote control, it's got things like voice search features, so you can voice control Kodi. Uh, it's got like a, an addition for it, which allows your watch to work in the same way if you've got an Android watch. Um, and of course it does what we're doing today. Uh, so I'm going to go to this button here and go to add host and then click the plus button. You might find that when you first load up Yahtzee that you are faced with a wizard straight away. If you're not, you can just do what I've done. Uh, and we want to run Kodi as a running host and it's going to try and detect the hosts automatically. It's found a couple here. Um, so I've got a computer here which is Music Room PC uh, and that's the one that I'm trying to control. That's the one in my music room at the moment. 
You can see there it's already de detected the web server port as 2341 and so all it needs is the username and password. Uh, so the login was Cody and then my password was my password. So I'm going to click add host. It's now testing the connection with my media center. And you can see it's done. Media Center successfully added. All you've got to do now is start sharing things. So if I open up uh, my gallery again and go to share, I can then click on play on Media Center and it will start playing on Kodi on my computer. Simple as that. Super, super easy. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to help support my channel, there are links in the description to do that too. I'll see you next time. What am I showing people? And welcome to something. Why am I here? I don't know anything. I'm going to show you how you can, uh, and here's a video that's going to make people go, <laughs> and here's a video that's going to make people go, because they're modems. <laughs> Shut up, Paul.